Welcome back to a Los Angeles Kings recap. I'm John Rosen, joined here by Daryl Evans. And looking back at the very first game after the All-Star break, Daryl, uh, you know those games after the breaks, maybe going in, coming out of the breaks. The detail might not always be there for every single player, but the Kings went into Arizona, attacked virtually the entire game, came away with a well-deserved 6-2 win. Yeah, I thought they were very well prepared in that game, John. I think right from the get-go, some of them might have to do with the way that they finished just going into the All-Star break, losing that game after having a lead. They seem to be very focused, even though they fell behind by a couple of occasions and on a couple of occasions in that game. I thought they battled. They played a pretty much complete 60, game, 60 minutes of hockey, came out with a huge two points, and definitely won the specialty team's battle. It's a little bit of an interesting schedule as the Kings now uh, go right back into another rivalry game here this evening against the Anaheim Ducks. Only two games uh, before another weekend off. Of course, it is the big tip of King fundraiser for, uh, of course, the Kings Care Foundation, too, this coming weekend. Uh, but prior to that game, Tuesday in Boston, tonight against Anaheim, one more game over the uh, before the weekend here. And when you look about this Kings Ducks game, uh, of course, LA goes into Anaheim, wins a game earlier this season. Both teams seem to be playing pretty well, at least from the Ducks standpoint right now. They had the rough start there playing some strong hockey, so it should be an excellent battle tonight. Yeah, I think the Ducks are definitely playing their best hockey of the season uh, at, to, at this point. Uh, and I think when you look at that last matchup, uh, and it wasn't that long ago, uh, it was back in the middle of January, I think both teams are really looking forward to this game. I know Anaheim wants to redeem himself, get back on the winning ways, and I think this is going to be a game that's going to come down to a 60-minute game, and it's going to take all players in the lineup. It's going to take four lines, each and every one of your defense out there, and it's going to boil down especially teams as well. The Kings power play really good, 9 for 29 over the last uh, nine games. Solid goal a game pace. They had three goals in the game against Arizona. And then you look at the penalty kill, number one in the NHL in Anaheim on the road, 90.7% on the penalty kill. So they've only given up two goals in the last 14 games. So I think the team that wins, especially teams battle, is going to be in a good spot at the end of the night. And this Kings team is scoring a lot of goals, as partially, as you said, because of this very strong Kings power play that's really operating quite well right now. Kings averaging three goals a game over the last nine games uh, right now with this Kings team. And of course, when you play against the Ducks, you generally don't expect those 5-4 type games. These are always going to be tight games, usually one goal games. L.A. plays Anaheim. You know what you're in for. When you have those two styles of heavy teams, teams that really like to get in there on the forecheck, make those hits uh, below the opposing team's goal line, what is it that you just have to be cognizant of? And what will the Kings look to do here this evening in a battle of two very physical teams to be able to perhaps score one more goal than the opponent? Well, it comes down to discipline, John. I think, you know, you have to win in those battles and we know it's going to be a playoff type atmosphere in the arena. Uh, both teams again looking for a huge two points and both teams uh, knowing that you know road games coming up that you want to you know for Anaheim this is a road game but when you start to travel you know you start to get a little bit tired and things like that this is where you're going to come in energized both teams just coming off the rest of the all-star break so I think you have to go out there and you really have to push the envelope you almost want to you know kind of push as far as you possibly can you want to lure the other team and it may be taking some unnecessary penalties but I think the team that can keep their cool the best in a game like this and there's going to be a lot of bodies around the net the goaltenders are really going to have to battle to be able to find the puck through the mass of bodies and that not only includes the opposition include your own guys as well because you're going to be there moving those guys out so you got to pay attention to all the little detail getting pucks into, out in your own zone getting pucks into the offensive zone that neutral zone the transition part of the game you can't afford to turn the puck over if you don't have bodies on the defensive side of the puck so you've got to play a real smart game in all three areas smart game disciplined game there were 12 there were 12 power plays combined between the Kings and the Coyotes two nights ago. Tonight, the Kings looking to bring down their own number just a little bit. Great job, as we talked about. On the power play, Kings were three for seven against the Coyotes. They're going to have their work cut out for them against the Ducks penalty kill, which ranks first in the NHL. Fun one here this evening. Kings and the Ducks at Staples Center. Big thank you from Daryl Evans and myself. You're watching Kings Vision and LAKingsInsider.com.